and I know from previous years that I should have a lot more green top than I have right now. The more green top you have. What's up Lazy Dog fam? Hope all y'all are having an amazing day. It is Thursday, February 29th here in South Georgia and it's been a minute since we provided an update on our bulbing onions behind me. So we're going to take a look at those today, see if they've actually started bulbing and I'm going to tell you why I think this year's onion harvest may be a little bit underwhelming. So here's our four rows of short day bulbing onions that we started seeds for way back in September and then transplanted in early to mid-November. So we've got five different varieties amongst these four rows. We've got flat onions, we've got round onions, yellow onions, white onions, red onions. This fourth row here actually has two different varieties and just disregard that double row of tater onions over there. We'll talk about that in another video. So the growth differences you may see here from one row to the next has a lot to do with variety. So this row here is a variety called DP Sweet. I've grown for several years and it's always the earliest. So you'll notice that those plants are a lot bigger than the plants in these other few rows. Now we've covered this a lot on our previous onion videos, but just a quick recap. Onions have kind of two distinct growing phases. The vegetative phase, when we're getting all those green leaves, and then the bulbing phase, when that bulb starts to enlarge and make our onion. The bulbing phase, the beginning of the bulbing phase, is triggered by day length. So for the short day onions that we have to grow down here, they'll start bulbing when day length reaches 10 to 12 hours. And it's not like just an immediate switch as soon as the day length reaches 10 hours down here they're going to start bulbing it varies a little bit from year to year some years they start bulbing earlier than others seem like they started bulbing a little later this year and i think that has a lot to do with the winter we had so right now we're at about 11 and a half hours of day length sun's coming up around seven sun's going down around 6 30. so they didn't start at 10 hours of day length they started probably closer to 11 11 and a half this year and so how do we know when bulbing has begun see that little crack in the soil right there that crack is because this onion is starting to enlarge and there's another crack right there telltale sign that bulbing has started and if you wish you can also kind of pull back some of the soil around that onion plant and notice that that bulb is starting to enlarge and so anytime we show or talk about onions bulbing we always get people asking about onion spooning and so here's kind of my take on onion spoon I personally have never spooned onions because I have never been so caught up around here just you know up to date on all my garden chores to where I was sitting down and thought man I should probably go out there and spoon those onions because I don't have anything else to do however hypothetical situation here let's say you're sitting inside in your chair watching tv just finished eating a bowl of chili or tater soup just to happen to have a spoon in your hand also just to happen to be completely caught up on all your outside work in the garden got the yard mode all that you're completely overwhelmed with boredom so then you get up with a spoon in your hand you go outside and you start moving some soil away from those onion plants so if you find yourself in that situation go for it but i can promise you onions don't need your help enlarging and getting to the top of the soil there they'll do it just fine on their own so no onion spooning for me but there are some things that we need to do or not do now that these are bulbing so when that onion plant starts bulbing it's done growing greenery that greenery is as big as it's going to get it's devoting its energy now to increasing the size of that bulb and at this stage supposedly is when you want to stop fertilizing your onions now this is more applicable for people out there using synthetics than the people using organic so if you're using fast acting synthetic fertilizers you wouldn't want to feed your onions with those once they start bulbing for me using the organic stuff it's not like i can go out there flip a switch and just tell that slow release organic fertilizer that we have in the soil to stop feeding those onions but if you're using synthetic stuff try not to feed them once bulbing has begun 
So we don't want to fertilize after bulbing has started, but one thing we do want to do is give them plenty of water, and this is where the drip tape really comes in handy. Been feeding these onions about every other day for several hours with this drip tape, keeping that soil nice and moist. Should be no secret that an onion is mostly water, and to make big onions to maximize the size of onion we're going to get, we really need to give them plenty of water. If we were doing this overhead, we'd probably end up getting a lot of weeds too. That's the advantage of using the drip. We can just water right there where our onion plants are. We're not feeding or watering those spaces between the rows and not fighting a ton of weeds. Now I mentioned at the beginning of the video how I thought this year's onion harvest was going to be a little bit underwhelming and you may be wondering how I know that or why I think that when these things have just started bulbing. So as I told you earlier, once we start this bulbing phase, this onion plant is pretty much done growing green top here. This is all the greenery we're going to get. And I know from previous years that I should have a lot more green top than I have right now. The more green top you have, the bigger the onion you're going to make, assuming you water them well during the bulbing phase. So since I don't have near as much green top as I usually have, probably not going to get near as big an onion as I normally grow. Now we'll probably still get some decent medium to large onions, but no gigantic colossal onions like we've grown in the past years. I doubt we get anything over two pounds. Last year we almost got a three pound onion, had a ton of big ones. But like I said, this year it's going to be more, I think, baseball to softball size, probably nothing bigger than a softball. And to be honest with you, I don't think there's anything we could have done to make them any bigger. They were fed very well. We had our chickens on this plot. We gave them some fertilizer at planting. We side dressed them with nitrogen a couple times. They had plenty of nutrients. I just think this winter was just too cool as a whole and they didn't grow as much. And we never got real cold this winter, but I can tell it was a cooler than normal winter by how many nights I had to keep my greenhouse closed down. So we got those roll up sides on our greenhouse and a lot of winters there's only a handful of nights where I really have to shut it down and tape up the sides but there was quite a few nights this past winter where I had to do that so although we never got cold enough to really hurt anything in the garden it was consistently colder this winter than it normally is. And as a result, I would suspect, I don't know for sure, but I would suspect that a lot of people down here are going to have average to below average size onions this year. There may have been a few gardeners that were able to overcome the cooler than normal winter, but I think it's something we're going to see with a lot of backyard gardeners around here. And that's okay because like I told you on the last video, we're not going to knock it out of the park with every single veggie every single year. Our Brussels sprouts in this same plot have done phenomenal best Brussels sprouts we've ever grown. So it's okay that our onions may just be average this year. And although these onions may not get huge, one thing I'm extremely proud of is my weed management on my onions this year. These are the least weediest onions I have ever grown. So a lot of times at this stage in the game, this time of year, we're super busy getting all of our plots ready for warm season planting and our onions get neglected a little bit and the weeds take over. But I have done a pretty good job killing any tiny little weeds that emerge and we got some pretty dang clean onions here. So although they might not get huge, at least we haven't added to our weed seed bank. And so hopefully next time we give you an update on these, we'll have some nice bulbs forming and emerging from the soil. What we should see happen is this variety here, this DP Sweet variety, will mature first. It always does. And so the bulbs will be bigger on it. Those plants will start falling over before any of these other rows. This row here, the Timon Round Onion, should be second. I can't remember with these Georgia Boy onions or those white onions. I do know of those red Chianti onions there are going to be last. If you live in a short day onion growing region, hopefully your onions have started bulbing. Hopefully you've got more green growth than I've got here, which means you should get some bigger onions than I'm going to get. I know a lot of people in the middle part of the country or northern part of the country haven't even planted their onions yet. And y'all may have a great onion growing season, whereas the cooler than normal winter down here made ours not so great. 
And if you want to know more about growing your own onion plants like we do, watch this video right here that we did back in September when we started these plants in the greenhouse. We'll show you all the equipment we use and kind of the techniques we use to grow our own onion plants so we can have them ready to go in the ground whenever we're ready. So check that out and we'll see you next time right here at Lazy Dog Farm.